Hey, the Brick Master here. It's gonna be my Oda Nova no Yabo episode five review. This was a good episode. Uh, get right, right to the point. Really, just like right to the point. You know, not really much stuff really actually happened here in this episode. Just recruitment of a character for Oda's clan. You know, so that's basically what's happening here. So basically, the character they end up running running into, they're like trying to um go into the castle, and this guy it was basically a strong strategist named Tak Take Naka Hanbe. Hanbe is a great um, strategist and knows how to get through things while even having no um, deaths or no kind of damage going on because that's how that's how good he is. And so then they actually wanted to recruit him. And so the Saga was like, okay, I'll go and try to recruit him. And so he ends up going to go try to recruit uh, Hanbe. And then he ends up running into um, a character we've seen before, Ase Nagamasa. And, you know, Nagamasa... But I guess over here is that Odin wants wants this basically wants this person to come and join, and so basically what he wants is to uh, get Hanbei to then give to Oda, so then they can you know that'll be like the the, the knife that'll be the deal, the done deal right there where they can actually get married and stuff. That's what's going that's what's going on. And Sakura's like, no, I'm not letting that happen. And so like we're gonna be doing to who's gonna be choosing or who's gonna get this person basically. And so then he's like, you can't be choosing without me. And so that's when we end up seeing uh, Takenaka Hanbei. And so he ends up um, coming out to the dude and stuff. He's a, um, apparently he's an Omni-Yogi. And an Omni-Yogi is basically like a magician, you know, not a magician, but a sorceress in a sense. You know, he has, he has, magical, he has magical powers that can summon demons and, and other incarnations with, within uh, sutras, like, you know, and and scrolls and so, and so forth. So that's what it is, basically. So he's very powerful. And so he's like, Eat these four buns. One of the po buns have poison in it, and you know if you choose the wrong one, you can die and stuff. And Sarah's so, so like, I'm not backing down. He's taking one, eats it. It's a hot chili pepper one, and then there's other ones in there. And so uh, they they're eating it, and they all got fooled because none of them were none of them were real. So it's just a fool. It's a game basically. And then we end up finding the actual Takena Hanbei, which is actually a girl, and she's she's a little girl. She's cute and stuff. So it's just like. She's a, she's a strategist that we couldn't get by at all. It, it, it looks so weird. He's so cute and so smile. Like, what's going on here? What's happening? So, <laughs> yeah, it's, um, apparently she gets bullied as her appearance and stuff like that because, you know, that's what it is. And that's that a second appearance that she usually has is that is that um, sutra is a, is a scroll that makes it, not sutra, but it's a sutra that makes this person, you know, the other Takana Hanbe, you know, the person, the, the thing we usually see, the guy we see. So, uh, yeah, that happens right there. Um, so Sakura's like, I'm not gonna bother you. I'm not gonna mess with you. We're not gonna bully you or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about that. We're not gonna be mean to you. And so you end up um, seeing some Saito Yoshitatsu. The Saito Yoshitatsu owns this guy right now at the moment. And that's what they're, they're trying to recruit him. And they were like wondering, where's Yoshitatsu at? I mean, where's uh, Hanbei at? And Yoshitatsu's like, get me Hanbei. Get me Hanbei. How is he over here and not with us? Like, he, he seems like, I think he's, tra you think he's trying to betray us. I think he's trying to betray us. And he's like going crazy. He's like, I don't know what's going on. You know, he was like, he was thinking, I'm not that good like my father. You know, I'm not gonna take this anymore. You know, fine, you get out of here. Basically, Ando is gonna get killed. You know, because he's like not trying to get um, Hanbei to him. He's like, bring me Hanbei or you die. You know, so he's just he's he's getting out of hand. He's going he's getting a little crazy because he feel like he can't amount to his father. He can't. He's not as good as the Viper. You know, he's trying to be there, but he just can't do it. And He's getting angry and angrier, and he's just he's having a hard time like ruling over this um land that he's having right now, and people are like are questioning him at this point because he just he's acting stupid, and so then um they wanted to um actually talk to I guess he talked to um Sugura and and, he, and Hanbei's like Hanbei's like I'll go with you too. Usually I don't try to make an appearance like act as this form, but you know I gotta I'm gonna go do it go do it with you. Maybe he'll understand if I say sorry, and I'm not gonna ever betray him or anything like that. They don't have to worry about that. But it's like it's too native of you. But she's like still wants. She still wants to go. And so Sakura's like, let's go then. Let's go. Let's go, girl. And so um, as I was going gone, uh, the girl with the dog hat on and the ninja girl were un gonna end up saving Ando so he doesn't get killed. And so that's what that's what the whole deal is. And so they go and meet Yoshitatsu. Yoshitatsu's like, no, you suck and stuff. And like you're trying to betray me. And you, I know you have those thoughts in your head. I don't give a crap what you're saying. You're not gonna do this. Just words. Just words. Words don't mean nothing to me. And I know you have the possibilities, the possibilities to betray me. So I'm gonna still disown you. Man, <laughs> just still just keeping that just down. Like, he just he was just crazy. He's just he's, like, he's getting he's getting just bad. You know, there's something wrong with this dude. And Sakura's like, you can't be doing this kind of stuff. And so on and so forth. And he's like, you know what? Kill him. 
kill him, just get him out of here, kill the other guy too, because uh, um, Asa was there as well, but Asa was like, no, I was actually, I knew they was gonna do this, so I was here to just protect you, yeah, that's what I was trying to do, ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha, and he's like, nah, we'll capture him, but kill the, the stupid monkey, kill him, but capture that guy, because I, I, I mean, I want to talk to him, <laughs> and so that's what was going on, Ninja Girls ended up coming and saving them, and uh, well, not saving them, but putting up a smoke screen up, because they were there, and like we saved Ando, so we need to get the guy out of here. And he was trying, um, Sargo was trying to get um, Hanbei, but then, uh, what's his name? Saito was like, Ha, ah, I got Hanbei now. And so he, he's like, I'm not gonna kill her, I'm gonna keep her with me, so I can rule the I, with her power. I can rule this land, I can rule everything, I can be the strongest person ever. I can do it. Ah, ah, ah. You know, he's just, he's, he's, he's. He was crazy. I mean, I'm making it seem more crazy than he actually was in the episode. I'm sorry, but he just, to me, he was just, he's just, he's, he's not, he's not gonna mount to the Viper. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> but then that's when uh, she ended up activating her power. Ahambe's power just overpowered everything. She destroyed every like, It was crazy. She ended up summoning like four deities or something like that. Like throw gold and stuff. And she, that thing was just smack, smack, bam. And then all the explosion happened. Everyone was just, everyone disappeared besides the, you know, Saga run and stuff. And apparently, if Hamba used too much of her power, she gets a fever and stuff, so she's not feeling good now. And so then, at the end of the episode, apparently Hanbei is going to follow under Sagara's, uh, under Sagara, basically. Like that's, hit, that, like, that's her lord, basically, at this point. So that's what she's going to do. She's not going to um, go under Oda, but under him, which is actually nice. So it's very interesting. Now he has, now he has a um, lackey. He has a person under him. That's, that's interesting. <laughs> so, yeah, but she's very, very powerful. Like, she completely just destroyed that stuff. Now, I wonder how, she, like, how, like this is the way she is. This is very powerful. I don't understand. So, uh, yeah, but she's a very good strategist. And now they got a new person in the group. Um, they're another cute girl, too. They're all, they're all little cute girls. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really stupid in this one. I've been trying to re record this for, like, I don't know how long. But, yeah, I recorded it now. This has been my review of Oda Nobu no Yabo. Um, episode 5. What are your thoughts on this episode here today? What do you think is going to happen next, actually? You know, since they're doing this recruitment of, of, of certain characters, since they got a recruitment of this character, now they have a strategist, so now they have a better chance of getting things and getting things done faster. I'm curious how good, like, how is she really a good strategist exactly, too? Because she seems so timid and very shy and stuff, so it's, it's very interesting. It's very, very interesting. So I, I'm, I'm curious how she's going to be later in the episodes. Um... I'm wondering if there's gonna be any more recruitments or you know lands taking over. No one's gonna die again. Like the people, people are gonna have to die, and he Subaru's gonna have to admit, like see this stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I wonder when that starts, stuff's gonna start happening exactly as well. You know, the show's actually good. It's just there's things, there's things that, can, that can still build upon in the show. So I'm just looking forward to seeing more and more of this show. So uh, you're comfortable tell me what you think. Like, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more Oda no Yabo reviews. So yeah, it's been the Break Master, and until then, break out.